Emerging from the cliffs of Blackfin comes one of Britain's best known early Jurassic dinosaurs, Scalidosaurus. The first remains of Scalidosaurus were found around 1856 by quarrymen working at Blackfen Hill between Charmouth and Lyme Regis. The fossils inevitably ended up in the hands of the quarry owner, James Harrison, who, once realising the significance of the find, sent them on to Richard Owen for further study. The remains at the time were the most complete dinosaur that had ever been found and were surprisingly still articulated, which meant that the bones were roughly in the position in death that they would have been found in life. So what did the first fossil find contain? Well, it had most of the skull, just missing a little bit of the tip, almost all of the vertebra, the hind limbs, the hip, and some of the forelimbs. Also preserved were numerous examples of one of Scalidosaurus's most distinguished features, the osteoderms. These are bony nodules of various shapes and sizes that cover almost all of the animal. They run in horizontal lines along Scalidosaurus's neck, back, flanks, hip and tail, along with some smaller ones along the limbs. Their most likely function was to protect the animal from predators as part of a defensive armour. Owen realised the find that he had was a dinosaur and in 1861, he gave it the name Scalidosaurus harrisoni, Harrison's leg lizard, named after the quarry owner. Since its initial discovery, several other specimens of Scalidosaurus have been found, many of them nearly complete. Some can be found in the Lyme Regis Museum, but there's also a significant collection on display at the Bristol Museum and Art Gallery, including adult and juvenile individuals, and the very special find of some fossilised Scalidosaurus skin. Yes, that's right, skin from Scalidosaurus. A special mention needs to go to a femur and a dermal scoot from Scalidosaurus that was found on the Island McGee Peninsula in County Antrim in Northern Ireland, which makes Scalidosaurus the only confirmed dinosaur find from the island of Ireland. What kind of creature was Scalidosaurus? Well, Scalidosaurus was about four metres long and was quadrupedal. It lived on the islands that formed Europe at the time of the early Jurassic, between 183 and 196 million years ago. A plant eater that roamed the shoreline, it was initially thought that Scalidosaurus was a semi-aquatic animal that ate fish, and this was one of Owen's original ideas. However, studies of the teeth show that it is actually a dedicated herbivore, and the reasons why these animals were found in the shallow marine sediments were most likely because they were washed out to sea after death and then deposited in the fine mud that would eventually become the mudstones of Blackfen. The armoured scoots indicate a close relationship with the stegosaurs and the ankylosaurs. Its existence in the early Jurassic sediments, along with its less derived features, suggests that it was a basal thyreophora, and together with Germany's Emusaurus and Arizona Scatellosaurus, represent the oldest thyreophorans that we know of.